And will you be watching tonight? The big game. The game to be heard around the world. With so much implication, World Cup soccer. The ladies going for their third title since this whole thing came on board back in 1991. USA. Names like Solo and Wambach and Lloyd and O'Hara. I don't know about you, but whenever I think of O'Hara, I think of Chief O'Hara. Commissioner Gordon. Robin. Holy header, Batman. <laughs> He said, header. Wasn't that a great show, Batman? Well, that's tonight, 7 o'clock, from, I guess, what, the great, the great north on the west, in the west, in Canada. Okay. Meantime, there was some men's championship that was decided last night, and that one went to uh, Chile, beating Argentina in the Copa final. Don't even know what Copa means. She, her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with a yellow feather in her hair and a dress cut down to there. She did merengue. Barry Manilow, you believe <laughs> he's 72 now. Saw him last night, part of that uh, 4th of July celebration, the Capitol 4th. Didn't look all that bad. Way to go, Barry. Oh, Barry, you came in, you gave without taking. Anyhow, baseball. Got the All-Star break in about a week. One All-Star who won't play should be there, but he's hurt. Miguel Cabrera to the DL, one of the greatest players of all time. 13 years, first time he will land on the DL. Would you believe that? Oh, it's true. He's got a calf problem. He's hitting 350. Without him, Tigers won yesterday, beat Toronto. Uh, David Price, good game on the mound. J.D. Martinez, another home run. J.D. Martinez now has nine homers in his last 11, and he now has 22. He is making it happen. There is no doubt about that. Other baseball news, Frazier of Cincinnati. Todd's got 25. Bryce Harper has 25. Uh, the guy in the DL, Giancarlo Stanton, he has 27. And uh, here's a picture you may not know a lot about, but he's got 29 scoreless innings, and he's halfway to the record of Orel Hershiser. That would be uh, Giovanni Gallardo, 29 straight scoreless innings for Texas. Did you know that? By the way, could you believe it? It's been, well, 25 years already since Orel Hershiser had the 58 scoreless. That was the year the Dodgers won the World Series. That was the year Kirk Gibby with the home run. Off the Ekman. Boy, how time flies. Hey, it was nine home runs ago that A-Rod hit his 660th home run. And uh, that tied Willie Mays. And he was entitled, he thought, to a $6 million marketing bonus. Yankees said, we decide if it's good for marketing. They decided no. Well, A-Rod, who has mellowed, who has humbled at the ripe old age of soon to be 40, did make a big deal about it. Good for you, A-Rod. And what did they come up with? The $6 million? Forget that. The Yankees and A-Rod going to chip in about three and a half mil to their various charities. One question, I don't know why A-Rod's got to do any of that on his own. I mean, well, whatever. Taking the high road. Just, just a thought right there. Yeah, who knows? Okay, NBA, what a week of free agency and money. Just throwing the money around. Can you believe it? I mean, D Green re-ups with the Dubs. Five years and what, 80? 85, something like that. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge goes from Portland to San Antonio. Gets four years and 80. DeAndre Jordan leaves the Clippers. He goes to the Mark Cubans, four years and 80. Why can they throw this money around? The TV, the radio, the network contracts. Each NBA team gets 80 million per guaranteed, even before Dwight Howard bricks off a free throw. Can you believe that, huh? And what did the Knicks come up with? The team that won, what, two games all of last season? What did the Zen man pull off? He signs guys by the name of McQuinn, Aflalo, and uh, Robin Lopez, last I checked, Robin Lopez playing more like Robin Leach. Or maybe Trini Lopez. Lemon tree, very pretty. <laughs> I don't know, if he can get four years and 54, then all bets are off in the NBA. And the cap is going up even more for next year. All right, in golf, the Greenbrier, four-way tie for the lead, 11 under, heading to today's final round of play. Uh, the leaders, you got Jason Bone with a 61 on Saturday. He's tied with uh, O'Hare, and he's also tied with Mulder and Park at 11 under. How about Tiger? T. Woods, you know he played, and he did make the cut. Now we're just to the point where Tiger makes the cut. It's a great tournament. All right, he's four under. He's seven back. Probably not about to win this thing. Getting ready for the uh, British Open. Two weeks in St. Andrews, where he's won twice. Didn't fire yesterday. Shot a 71, a one over round, but it's a lot better than the 85s and the non-cuts that Tiger has produced for us during the last year and change, okay? And finally, the annual monkey spank. That's right. At the corners of Surf and Stillwell in Brooklyn, the Nathan's 
Chaza contest. Who can swallow the most tube steaks? Mickey Sudo was the lady who won. She swallowed 38. That's right. Did the sword swallow for that many times. I didn't see this, but that might not have been bad to watch. Just saying. Okay. And for the men, a guy who had won the last eight, Joey Chestnut. He was a one to eight favorite to make it nine in a row. His record, 69 tube steaks back in 2013. And when you think about it, 69, well, you know. Anyway, he was about to make it nine, but a fellow by the name of Matt Stoney had other ideas. He beat him, 62 tubes to 60, to take home the famous mustard colored belt. Stoney winning the Nathan's hot dog contest. Oh, a bunch of chazes were there. Great time. Hey, I hope you're having a great time on this 4th of July weekend. And it's a beautiful day. May you enjoy it. May you salute. May you have fun. And we'll talk to you right here next time on The Walk.